better on that run than we did on the other one. Okay. That was actually very close. Allow me to get another seat open here. I gotta drink some water as well. Wow, that was a surprise. Okay. That doesn't happen all that often, so I'm going to appreciate it well at last. What about this challenge? This one is from Fuck Off Google Plus. Hmm. Uh, it's a nice place. I hope it gets finished at some point. Uh, uh, well, this is like a... This strikes me as like a makeshift village for like, for workers in an area or something like that. This isn't like, this is like a logging camp. This isn't a village really, I guess. This is just a place where people are going to live for a little while while they're logging. Uh, I'll, I'll admit, I'm trying to maybe take a look at people, figure out, you know, what their physical characteristics are like. To, to help determine where we may or may not be. Could be Asia. Could be Eastern Europe. Could be even Alaska. I would not be surprised if this was Alaska. Uh, also, someone in chat said Finland. I wouldn't be surprised if this is Finland either. There's a lot, a lot of like Finnish looking stuff here. Based on my GeoGuessr experience and nothing else, dude, this could be this could be BC for all I know. This could be British Columbia. I want to take a like a look outside. Right now, I I'm I have no no guess whatsoever. I'm leaning a little bit towards Eurasia, like Kazakhstan. But I have I have very little to go on there. As you might expect. Wow, okay, well. We're in wide open spaces now. Wow, we are going to be... We're going to be living in the dark here. We could be in BC. This isn't time travel. Alright, I get it. That's pretty funny. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say we're in Eurasia. And I'm going to go with Kazakhstan because that was the first one that kind of popped into my, my mind here. Is there any, like, UNESCO heritage forests or something? That w I, you know, all things considered, I think that was a pretty good guess. It was in Russia, but we're honestly, we were probably closer guessing Kazakhstan than what I would have guessed in Russia. So, I don't feel too bad about that. I thought we were inside here. Uh, this is Mars. This is this is Mars. This is positively horrifying. Um, it's this has got to be like the Twilight Sun, right? So we have to be somebody or somewhere. Uh, this is snow on the ground, by the way. We have to be somewhere very north. We've got to be in like Northwest Territories or. Yukon, Northern Russia, Northern Norway, maybe even like, I don't know, it's, it's too widespread to be like the Fort or Camp uh, Murto or whatever it's called, McMurdo Station on Antarctica. I'm going to guess that we're in this Svalbard, honestly, because we mentioned it earlier. Let's suggest that we're here. That was... That was not that bad. Okay. Again, all things considered, that could have been worse. That was on the Finnish-Swedish border. Man, that is... That is a beautiful and, and haunting place. I'm very... I'm relatively happy with my play there. So this is striking me as Europe, obviously. Um, getting a little bit of a Scottish Highland-type vibe here. Getting a little bit of a, an Irish vibe here. It could be Dover. Oh, hey, yeah. Disludo, thank you very much for the subscription. Oh, hey, yeah. the factory defaults, thank you very much for the subscription. Are these the fabled cliffs of Dover? I would like to read a sign first before I make my decision. I'm going to stop looking at chat because I think they, they're going to know. 
where it is. Could you have written the, the sign in like smaller font maybe? Maybe I can find somebody in a football jersey. No, you appear to have lost your torso. That's not even a football jersey. That's the strings on the front of the jacket. I thought they were like it was a Steven Gerrard jersey. <sighs> okay, well. Yeah, there's extreme danger here, in case you were wondering. If the danger is that extreme, maybe build the railing like a little bit more than 10 centimeters off the ground. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my first guess, and I'm gonna say Scotland, which is why I'm going to Iceland now. And I'll say that's that's uh, that's down there in Edinburgh. Ooh, not so good. This is China Square on Market Street. I've been there. Um, this kind of strikes me like uh, like Africa again. English-speaking African nation, we're probably looking at South Africa. Mad Max, that place looks wild. Ebenezer Fashions, that's not a name that I would, uh, I would choose. This is not Chinatown in Seattle. I've been to Chinatown in Seattle multiple times. The The train station did look kind of similar. Tires with a Y? What a world. Well, again, there's there's basically no way for me to know where we are uh, in, in Africa without seeing a sign. Joburg City. All right. Well, that, that helps. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. I'm not going to worry too much about getting, like, right in the middle. But we were near Market Street. Yo, this is a big city. Maybe we were near Village Deep. That was pretty damn close. 1.46 kilometers away. All right. Oh, what's the matter? Is the, the wonder of nature not exciting enough for you? At first, I was like, that's Portland. And I panned over a little bit, and I'm like, I don't know that that's in Portland. Hmm. Let's take a look around. This is a tourist attraction. I would expect to be able to find some, uh, oh, well, no, never mind. Might just, uh... Accidentally walk inside of our own prison there. This is beautiful. They've certainly got the uh, the filters turned on. Let me zoom in, please. Shit. Could this be like Ukraine? I want to see who who's the statue. Oh my god, let me go. Uh, situation. I don't want to be here anymore. So what I was thinking is that it looked kind of like like this region from CK2 based on what I was like reading. I've conquered this region. It's like Kony, Komi, something like that. I can't get out of this area. Oh, there we go. Okay. We pop and we're back in these ding dongs over here. Can we just, if you get stopped, just keep clicking. Yeah, just keep going. We can make it. Don't worry about it. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, Boom, right there. Hey, that's not so bad. That was another one that was pretty good. We, I mean, those were tougher than the last one, I think. We did very well. We got two more to do here. We're like pretty much right on time, which is awesome. Let's close this bad boy up. And then get this one is from Bruno, sorry, Bruno, the bodyguard. Immediately, Edmund Penis Bridge. 
Edmund Pettus Bridge. I'm assuming not North America, but they're driving on the right side of the road, speaking English. Pickup trucks. It's all, It's like it's North America or Africa. I think this might be in the U.S. Unlimited talk and text. Home phone service. This could be the U.S. The further away, uh, the further away I get from this bridge, the more I think this is America. Ain't that America? The Chamber of Commerce. It's like something town. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm with this being in the United States now. Brown. Is that is it Brown University? That's in like Maryland. I think. It, you would expect that Brown University would be near the, the public library. Historic Derbis Mama. Come on. Don't blur that out. Work with me a little bit here. Historic Booba Duty. Downtown Selma. Selma? Where the hell is Selma? Can't you hear me, yellow? I have never heard. Oh, Brown is in Rhode Island. Well, let's take a look at, at Rhode Island then. Guys, where's where's Rhode Island? <laughs> I know it's near Massachusetts. Is that oh my god, Rhode Island, you're you're too tiny, man. Look, I, I'll admit, I don't know where we are. Camp C Cabana Historical Park? Roman Catholic Church? That doesn't tell me that much. Um, a lot of, like, useful information on this truck, apparently. Pork Crackling Strips? Mildly seasoned with red pepper. Look, I'm not going to front. That sounds delicious. I would just like... I'm not looking at chat because I'm sure people will probably know. But um, I'm, I'm just looking for like a state indicator. If I had to pick a state right now, I'd pick the Northeast. Probably. Is this really like... There's too much identifying information on this? Oh, yeah. A-Tech. Uh, the Crystal Knight, thank you for the subscription, by the way. Like, this seems like a, it could be a small town in, like, Maine. Or Connecticut. Why don't you scumbags put your states on more things? Trust Mark. If I was thinking of a state, I would think in the Northeast, right? Okay, I'm not saying the Northeast is a state, you ding-dongs. Don't get offended by that. Why don't you, I don't live in America. Why don't you tell me your favorite, uh, you know, Australian state? Bama Motors. All right, that gives us what we need. Why don't you tell me your favorite, you know, South Korean province? Can't know everything about every country. Uh, ding dongs. Oh, man, it's right there, isn't it? Boom, baby. 183 meters away. Pretty good. All right, this strikes me as... America or some place that America currently is. My mama say I'm special. I see a trolley. This could be uh, North America or somewhere in Europe. Can't really tell. Let's take a little walk. No, no, you don't understand. I want to read the plaque. I'll settle for this monument up here. Okay. All right. So it's a tourist town because they have like a 3D ride set up in the middle. Not to mention like all these monuments. Tomb Rider. Okay, this has got to be America. 
I saw George Washington. It's George Washington, Maine. Maybe that's somebody different. Well, that's what Laura, that's Laura Croft, right? She's in. She's the Tomb Raider. To be honest with you, Ripley's Haunted Adventure. I almost feel like this is like the. Well, it's touristy. So I'm thinking like American side of Niagara Falls. But if I could catch up with this thing, that would be helpful. And if I could get any indicator of like what state we're in, that would be awesome. Snow cones. It doesn't mean we're in a hot place. It might just be hot during the winter. Oh, well, I saw like an observation deck. We're in America. Okay, it's good. Nice to have confirmation of that. I was pretty confident of it. I, I can't, like, move. <laughs> uh, it's not really that helpful. Well, okay. It's like an old... old military structure. Can't, uh... Can't get that red. What about this? This guy's very, or this lady is very interested in reading this sign. Well, now we're inside, of, like, of the tourist attraction, which I think is a good sign. That guy's wearing, oh, it's the Alamo. I was starting to get a little bit of a Texas vibe here. I Admittedly, I don't know where the Alamo is. And if I look at chat, they're going to tell me. So I am not going to look at chat. I'm going to say that it's near San Antonio. And that, okay, exactly the right city. Fair enough. Seems like North America. Mode, model, drugstore, and apothecary shop. The A. Lamau. Oh. Uh, okay, that doesn't mean we're in Phoenix. That just is a Phoenix. Farmer's Market. Capon House in Colin Park. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling like it's like Minnesota or something. Thought we had it. Oh, we do have a sign right there. Waterfront Park. Holland State Park. Could we be in Pennsylvania? Um, I know... Holland Rescue Mission. Like, I know there's a lot of Dutch settlers in, um, in Pennsylvania. That was USPS, right? Yeah. Mm, I, I think it's USPS. I always get that in the Perlator sign mixed up. I'm really, like, this is North America. Or it's in Holland, you fucking idiot. Can I have uh, some Dutch people tell me? Is this what Amsterdam looks like around this time of year? There are some. There's some flowers. Um, I'm noticing the canals. The canals. That you know, they were a little bit bigger in the in the brochure, but uh, a lot of pickup trucks. That American flag is kind of making me think that this must be like America Town in Holland or something like that. Don't be an asshole in chat. All right, unless you know what you're talking about, in which case, at least you've earned it. Oh, it's Holland, Michigan? Well, then I'm the asshole. I don't want to take that guess right off the bat, because that's like, I just stole the answer, basically. But now, if I don't take it, I'm going to feel like it's an intentional throw. Okay, well, what I was thinking, what I, I, I was going to say Pennsylvania... So I'm going to I'm going to go with Pennsylvania even if it is Holland, Michigan. And I would let's go with like Harrisburg, Harrisburg. You know what? I apologize. I'll own up to that. You still call me a fucking idiot though. I have no idea where we are. There's a lovely nautical pontoon boat. What is that? It's like a... 
It's like a spider on its back. A century of service. Okay. I mean... A century of service. I mean, it doesn't feel American. To me. Feels European. Uh, I meant to like look at that statue instead of travel directly through it. Ah, uh, yes. There's a centaur. We must be in Athens. Let's take a quick peek around here. I'm thi You know, it, it feels like... Europe. If I could see some languages. Um, so, well, now I'm thinking that it's... Oh. Discover Greenwich. Must be British. I mean, these houses look like, you know, we're on Baker Street. Can I... I, I just... Okay, there's the Union Jack. Admittedly, I don't know where Greenwich is. Royal Naval College. There's double-decker... Bu this has got to be, like, in London, right? Meet Bernard. What a lovely shop. Is Greenwich a city or a district? And so that, like a district of a city or a city itself. What kind of sandwiches you got over here at the subway? You got some cookies, yeah? Who I mean everyone loves the cookies. I want to see if you had like a like a battered cod sandwich or something like that. All right, well, I'm assuming that it's going to be in London. That would be my guess for where the Royal Naval College would be. And then we'll just take a quick look around here. For, like, a Greenwich district. Uh, Shepherd's Bush. Richmond. Holloway. Stratford. Beckentry. It's all in London. Wimbledon. Let's see, Greenford. Is Greenwich a part of Greenford? Uh, I'm, you know. I'm just going to put us like. Well, just put us not next to another city. Let's put us here. That was pretty good. I don't know how. I guess I would have looked for Greenwich Park. Okay. Wow, this is uh, majestic. Getting a real European vibe from this. Yeah, this is like like old school Prussia or something like that. Northeastern Europe? Don't look at me like that. I have a right to be here just as much as you do. Could be part of Germany. Could be Romania. Could be could be many places. I don't think we can move too much here. Pictures are getting a little wonky. So that's like a fucking oh, it's a dog. I was like, that's some kind of some kind of really aggressive cat. Sorts of pictures of fruits. At least I hope that's what it is. I uh, uh, this this is like if you put this on a beer, I would be like, oh, that beer's gonna be dope. Look at where it was made. So I'm gonna assume this is somewhere in like this general region. Uh, I'm gonna maybe take a stab at like uh, the the map is not as topographical as I'd like. Take a stab at like a Leipzig. It was Romania. It could have been Dracula's castle. That's the most points we've gotten, though. 22,595. All right, we got one more. One more. That's Chinatown in Seattle. <laughs> All right, this is Multi-Rainbow oh, yeah. Warriors. Holland Mission Tourism Board has just subscribed. I like that. Thank you very much. All right. Man, we're not getting a lot of uh, America here. We're getting a lot of Europe, assuming that's what this is. 
Is that, a, is that an ad? That's an ad. Uh, well, maybe it's not an ad. Maybe it's a map of where we are. So this is like the Aegean, the Mediterranean. I'm going to assume that we're um, Porta della Marina. I'm going to assume that maybe we're on like Sardinia or Corsica. It looks beautiful. Or, or, or Crete or um, Sicily. What is the... Is that SC or ST? You know, those top-level domains, they tell you a lot. Hmm. Let's keep looking. I'd like to see some more websites if possible. What about that? What about that? What about that? Coral Cameo Cosabella. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Lick me, please. 6969 oh, yeah. and Ninju00. Oh, thank you very much for the subscription as well. Amalfi is okay. I know this actually. Amalfi, isn't that one of the provinces on Sicily? In No, I'm thinking of Palermo, I think. Amalfi. Amalfi. Hmm. Or is Amalfi the capital of of like one of these that I'm could be like even North Africa? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is it's a quality problem to have. We know roughly where we are. We're not going to be off by too much. But if we can get closer, I'd like to. Can't, is this a like, boob last night? I think that's what it said. That's a Greek flag. All right. Okay, we're we're gonna be maybe in Greece. On the coast of Greece, near the Aegean. Well, man, it's a little loot over there. Um. What's like a let's get a Kalamata, get some delicious olives there. Oh my god! It was freaking in Amalfi. Was there a Greek flag there? That should be well, it shouldn't be against the law. That has some troubling implications. But you threw me off with that flag. All right, this looks British as heck. That wasn't the Greek flag. That looked like the Greek flag to me. Water of Leith Walkway Diversion to Stockbridge. This does not feel North American. This feels exactly British. It was just a dirty tight uh, dirty tarp. Blue and white stripes equals the Greek flag. So racist. Look, that is just straight up not racist at all. You got to think of it in context as well. I knew we were in, like, around the Mediterranean region. I saw some blue and white stripes with the the top left obscured, and I was like, oh, it must be in Greece. All right, this is definitely in the UK somewhere. This guy's yeah. Don't don't take my picture, motherfucker. This is my bike of shame. Cafe bra at hotmail.com. Oh, .co.uk, there's the, there's the information we were so looking forward to. This looks nice, man. Wish I could have some indication of uh, what, what part of the .co.uk it was. You know what? Was that guy, was that gentleman carrying some beer in his, uh, in his bag? You have some beer in your bonnet, mister? What do you got there? Enhance? I can't see shit. He's got some tomatoes, though. 
Hey, I'd like to put you, some of you guys, in the Canada GeoGuessr and see how you did. You want to be off by a thousand kilometers? That's like the difference between freaking Montreal and Toronto, you hosers. Parks of Hamilton. West End Store. Craig's House. That's yeah, wherever we are, you just get a bus that goes directly to Craig's. Pizza Express. They eat pizza wherever we are. That's uh the white snail. The thirdman. The buses should experience City Connect. Yeah, the buses should give me some more information. You, if you're gonna be proud, you're. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say your buses have got to have the name of the city on them. So I'm gonna assume that we are in Edinburgh. There's an X Men. Days of Future Past ad there. That movie played very well in Edinburgh. All right, so wait, let's look at her street name because we know exactly what city it is. The city's not that big, right? Looks like the street is named Caution Tram Tracks. We'll go take a look for it. Uh, no, okay, whatever. No street name necessary. Edinburgh. Ah, there was this. Like, we were this, like, Leith on Water. So it must be around here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Rover's Return. This is where the dogs come back. Uh, karaoke from 10 p.m. I I think this is I don't know where this is. It looks very touristy. There's a British pub. There's an Irish pub. I was actually gonna say that I think this might even be in. This sounds wild. I think this might be in Mexico. Mm. I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking it appeals to American tourists, but, you know, maybe it actually appeals to European tourists. And if you're going to say, well, it's a European, you know, it's a British pub, of course it would appeal to Europeans. Americans fucking love British pubs, dog. But these are Euros. Rockstarbenedorm.com. So these are in euros. So this has got to be uh, a touristy part of Europe. And that narrows it down. You got to be like, you know, this is in Spain somewhere. Or like, I don't know, Croatia or something like that. But it looks more Spanish. So if we're going to go with Spain, uh, what what part of Spain is the most touristy? Admittedly, that's that's just a question that I don't know the answer to. I love that sign, though. What aliens? You're not welcome here. Okay. Um... Well, let's, let's go take a look at some more signs here. There's another alien sign there. That was weird. I was actually thinking Barcelona as well. I just saw somebody in chat say that. They said it with a question mark. I don't know if those are names of cities or if that's the Spanish translation for some of this, or if it's just the name of the places or something. Like, um, so I was thinking, you know, someplace on the, probably on the coast. I kind of feel like I want to go like Valencia here. Hey, that's not so bad. Oh, there's actually a city called Benidorm. That makes a lot of sense. All right, this. It looks American. It, it looks American. I was tempted to say, and you know what, I'm actually thinking it again. It might be Africa, because I, every time I see a Market Street, it ends up being South Africa. But I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment for now. But there is, like, Nubian directions. Nubia 
is like the ancient name for the Ethiopian Empire, basically. I think we might we might be in South Africa again, or we might be in in North America. I don't know. Okay. I'm just a li- There's just enough throwing me off right now. I'm still, still thinking America. Even though, no, 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 no. Now these signs. These signs don't make sense anymore. Get Mexican products here. Are we in like Florida? I saw a Boost Mobile. I thought that was like a UK thing. Okay, Social Security. So we should be probably in America. Now, just to figure out where the hell we are. There's the, yeah, there's an American flag as well. United States Bankruptcy Court, Southern District of New York. I thought we were in fucking Africa. So we'll be looking at New York here. Southern District. I mean, it could mean the Southern District of the state. Or it could mean the Southern District of the city. This doesn't look like New York City. So I'm going to guess that we're in Albany. Albany is the capital. That was fairly close. Jesus. Is this like... Um, is this Machu Picchu? I know so little about uh, South American geography. This could be like really sad. Isn't Machu Picchu in like Peru? Am I going to throw... Intensely here. Ah, it's not so bad. That's that's as good as I could have done without looking at chat to help me out here. All right. That's going to do it. We did take a little bit more time than I thought we would. Thank you to uh, Ather Games again for those uh, seeds. And if you want to check out some more videos of his, you can go do so. Uh, we'll be back to play some fibbage with the audience momentarily. Thanks for watching thus far. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in three minutes.
Hello everybody, welcome back. Just let me get this GeoGuessr stuff out of the way. And instead I will put on the Jackbox Party Pack. There's the room code uh, you can go for. Go to Jackbox TV, punch that in. I am assuming that it's probably already done here. Jackbox.tv. Good luck. And we're gonna play some Fibbage with friends. Oh my god, that was very fast. I'm gonna put up my overlay for a sec while I change the game name. And then we'll play some Fibbage. If you didn't catch Fibbage on the last stream... I'll hit everybody's in here. If you didn't catch Fibbage on the last stream, basically... Fibbage is uh, a game where we fill in the blanks with lies, and then if we guess what is actually the truth, then we get points, and if somebody gets fooled by your lie, you get points. Let's do it. Northern Lion, drop left hand, Northern Loin, wave girl, Ryab6969, I lost a couple of them here, alright, let's do it, I'm ready, and after this maybe we'll play some Drawful, and after that maybe we'll play some Lice Water, because we have about 45 minutes here, alright, QQAAZZAA, what are you going to go for here, Arousal, I am not surprised, Metrophilia, Metrophilia is a sexual arousal caused by, I'm gonna say, big city. Oh, yeah. Captain Douglas Falcon. Thank you very much for the uh, subscription. I should probably not say what I'm gonna say, actually, because people are gonna not say it then. So, um, you know what? I'm not gonna say big cities. I'm gonna say something else. And I'm gonna send it in there. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. And I don't wanna, I can't look at chat that much because I can't tell what it is. Because if chat actually looks it up and says it, that's not fair. I get to choose the correct answer. So I'm, I'm putting my hand over chat right now. I can't see it. Hurry Hopefully up. everybody answers pretty quickly. You can't think of anything. Big old cities. Okay, I'll admit, I looked at that one. All right. You, know, you got to answer, man. You got to have the Jackbox window open. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, buses, truth, cleaning fish, skyscrapers, large cities, the metric system, trains, traffic, Dick fuck or poetry? I'm gonna go with buses. I was gonna go buses or skyscrapers. Now I've selected, I can look. Egg cam or riot? That's not even one of the answers here. I'm gonna give some bonus points to uh, skyscrapers. Buses. Oh, that's gotta be wrong then. God damn it! This is Ringmaster's lie. All right, that's okay. Large cities. See, that's why you don't say it, because you know it's going to be a lie. I, I fooled you. Traffic. Oh, I smoked you. Drop left hand, ringmaster, J5, grumble chump. That one's mine. Lots of suckers on that one. Thank you. Thank you, Cookie. Northern Loin and Wave Girl said trains. Did anybody get the right answer? Skyscrapers. QQAA, ZZAA. That's an, I think nobody got the right answer. Well, don't you feel Poetry! Voice. I would not have expected that. And the rest of the board wow. is unselected. I think I... Okay, I'm in first. Like, what can I say? I'm a good liar here. Any bonus points? Oh, Dick Fuck got four bonus points. That's just absurd. Oh, right, I get to choose. Category. Okay. Desert, Psychiatrist, Beagle... 6,084 or single? I gotta get take 6,084. Okay, here's the question. 
Irvine, UC Irvine brought 6,084 6, students, students together in 2012 to break the world record for largest, for largest blank, blank ever. ever. Enter your lives hmm. now. I mean, there's some obvious semi-sexual answers here. Break the world for the world's largest. All right. All right. I think I got one that's going to get some people. A lot of people ask, um, you know, what happens if you get the correct answer? Well, first off, you're going to know that it's correct when you guess, which is worth some points. But also, it just says, like, pick another one. Okay. I think I, I didn't pick a funny answer, but I picked one here that is going to be, uh, it's going to get some people off guard. Dodgeball game, mosh pit, probably not the Nazi convention. It probably wouldn't be the largest one ever, either. Human Circle, Hug, Smurfs, Sack Race, Conga Line, DDR Marathon. I'm gonna go with Dodgeball Game. And I'm gonna give that a bonus point. I'm gonna give Mosh Pit and Sack Race a bonus point. Let's see. Okay, let's take a look. World's largest suicide pack. Conga Line. Yes! I said Conga Line! Four people got. Taken in by the siren song of the lion. Human circle, true, proved to be incorrect. Sack race, proved to be in. Oh, it's their lie, so you just lose points for that one. Dodgeball, me, me and my brother got the truth. Oh, this is running away with it. The points are going to be out of control. Oh my god. It is a massacre. And then nobody gives Conga Line any thumbs up. I get to... Oh, that's not me. That's Northern Loin. Hey, everybody, I'm Northern Loin. La Loin. I was going to say, you got to choose Lion on this one. In 2013, a zoo in China attempted to pass off a blank as an African lion. Oh, man. Type in your lies now. Attempted to pass off a blank as an, an African lion. What could you even... Oh my god, I don't know. Um, I don't know this one. I'm not gonna look at chat, because again, chat is tempting, you know, to right, give the correct the answer. Truth? House Cat, Large Tomo, Northern Rin Lion, Large Dog, Grizzly Bear, Lynx, Black Cat, Panda, or Goat. I'm gonna go with Large Dog. I'm gonna give some points to uh, Large Tomo, House Cat, Large Dog, and Goat. It can't conceivably be a Grizzly Bear. Could be a Lynx. Okay, Alright, let's see. Pick? House Cat. That's not me. That's Northern Loin. He got caught in a lie. Lynx. Oh, you guys, that's mine! The points are real! That was a great lie. Thank you. Thank you, Cookie. Cookie Sanderson, I appreciate that. Wasn't a goat. I was actually thinking of saying goat. Large dog? Oh, the points are rolling in! People became suspicious when it passed on a dead gazelle in favor of a bowl of sausages. Clever. Very clever, Cookie Sanderson. Lies. He's too good at lying. What? I'm a... You know? I know what I'm good at. What can I say? No extra points for Lynx? That's the problem. Lynx is too good, so nobody gets any points here. Now nobody gives it any two, bonus points. Point are doubled. Let's do it. It's Cookie Masterson. Sorry, not Cookie category. Sanderson. Instructed, Rainforest, Control, Stuck, and Rags. Okay, here's the question. A backyard brains company sells a device that lets you control blank with your mobile hmm. phone. Let's you control your blank with your mobile phone. Okay. Let's control blank. Okay. I think I've got a good a good lie here. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I'm not looking at chat, although I did see about four people said your own penis. Which would be pretty amazing from like a human computer interface standpoint. Okay, here we go. I'll admit, sprinklers is what I was thinking. 
sprinklers, a rat, bird feeders, ghosts, televisions, Bob's brain, your cock, cockroaches, front yard brains. I almost want to say cockroaches, but that wouldn't make any sense, right? I'm gonna say sprinklers. That was my first. That was my first guess, anyway. I'm gonna give some points to cockroaches and bird feeders and sprinklers because they almost got me. I don't know though. All right, who picked what? Bird feeders. That's an incorrect answer. That that was conceivable though. Good lie, ringmaster. Oh, Tomo, you okay, buddy? Oh no, he dropped over the pencils. Oh my god. I got punked out by my doppelganger. That is a crazy. Crazy lie. It was cockroaches. Yep, you can control a cockroach's movements with electrical signals. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the app immediately closes when you turn on the kitchen light. And that means some of these didn't get. That dude dead. got 5,000 points on one play. No, he got 6,000! Holy shit! Northern Loin just. Came back in in one second there. All right, pick that was category. incredible. Barcelona, Romanian, Hunt. All right. Okay, here's the question. Lake Superior State University offers a bizarre license. The license entitles you to hunt blank. Hmm. Type in your lies now. Lake Superior State University offers you a bizarre license. The license license entitles you to hunt. That right there. Ah, it's a lie. Okay, I thought maybe it might be true. Hunt Mike's? <laughs> Hunt Man? That would be sweet. I gotta pick up this pencil thing that Tomo knocked over here. Tomo, hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which one's the Alright, whales, gophers, pigeons, unicorns, squirrels, larger, more superior legs, penguins, demons, or foxes. I am actually gonna go with gophers on this one. Demons, I don't think is on unfathomable. Pigeons, I think, is conceivable. And uh It could be squirrels. Alright, let's, let's see. see what everybody picked. This is a tough one. Go oh no. Lion and loin! We got busted by Grumble Chump! Penguins, come on. Come on with that one. Those points deserve to be taken away. Is it demons? Like, it could be demons. Wave Girl and Ringmaster J5? Oh, it's their lie, okay. Unicorns. I would never have expected that. So far, every hunter has only caught a one-point buck. And nobody Man. The other lies up nobody picked squirrels? I thought for sure squirrels was gonna pick up some points. Wave girls at minus a thousand, you can do it! I believe in you. I gotta catch up to Northern Loin though. This Time he's running away with it. Memorial. Steroids. Okay, steroids. Okay, here's the question. After an allergic reaction to steroids used to treat asthma, a 28-year-old woman started growing blank on her head mm. instead of hair. Started growing blank Fear on her head now. instead of hair. Started growing blank on her head instead of hair. Allergic reaction. This is a gross one. I don't know the answer to this at all. Oh, I entered the truth. Oh no. Um. Uh. Uh. Oh God. Okay. Well, at least I know what the correct answer is. That is a really bizarre correct answer, by the way. Okay. Hey. Hey. So I'm not gonna tell you what the correct answer is, but I'm gonna choose that and I'll give some extra points to these ones. Some of these are pretty gross. Is it scales, corn stalks, demons, me, tumors, mushrooms, feathers, fingernails, or scabs? Gross. 
You think it scales, huh, chat? Somebody didn't answer. Let's see what everybody selected. Mushrooms. Come on, Grumbled Chump. How would that freaking physiology even work, man? Grow, start growing mushrooms out of your head. Tumors. Wouldn't have surprised me. That was not my lie. That's Northern Loin. Le loin. Scales. That's not me. That's Northern Loin. Drop left hand, get some points. Oh, come on. Fingernails was the correct answer, by the way. I put it in, and that is gross. Now when she wants to look nice, she goes out and gets a Manny Hetty. Ha <laughs> ha! And that's it. Cookie Nobody strikes again. Got picked. Well, I think I might have I might only be back by 500 now. My lie wasn't good enough, but Oh man, I think this might be the final round here. 4 points for demons. You came back, Wave Girl. You got some you got some bonuses there. Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. That would actually be like pretty nasty. Okay, here. Final is fibbage. Your final fibbage question. When Milton Bradley first acquired the rights to it, the game Twister was called this. Hmm. Lies now. When Milton Bradley first acquired the rights to it, the game Twister was originally called this. It's. I think I've got a great lie here. This is what it all comes down to, though. Lion versus loin, final showdown. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what the correct answer is, uh, so I'm not looking at chat. This is a tough one to come up with a lie for, so I think I I did all right to get one for myself. All right, where's the, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Twisties, Stretching Circles, Twister, Tumbler, Tangled, Tangle, Pretzel, Touchy Feely. Hmm, I like Touchy Feely. I like Twisties. I like Tangle. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna go for Tangle instead of Tangled. Cause Tangle has a little bit more of a game name, you know, Tangle. You wanna play some Tangle? You wanna play some Tangled? Wouldn't really work as much. All right, here we go, come on, big lies. Tangle, Oh shit. <laughs> oh, at least I didn't give points to my arch nemesis. Twisties. Okay, no points to my arch nemesis. Tangled. Okay, no points to my arch nemesis. Oh, stretching circles? What? Okay, no points to my arch nemesis. Uh, pretzel? Oh, that's gotta be correct. Fuck! Nobody chose touchy feely? And we're done. How could you not choose touchy feely on those? God damn it. Well, you know what, Northern Loin? Congratulations, you played very well. I thought I was running away with it. And you you came down and you brought it back up. Wave Girl gets the thumbs cup. Congratulations on that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop playing Fibbage temporarily here. And uh I'm going to uh stay on Jackbox TV. I'm gonna bring us back and we're gonna try to play some Drawful. Now, if you're going to play Drawful, you're definitely going to need to look at my stream, which is going to be annoying for you with the delay, but we're going to try it out live here and see if it works. I'm going to say, like, Jackbox Party Pack? Do you have that, Twitch? Uh, I guess I could just say that we're still playing Fibbage. Alright. Um... Boom, boo -doo, boop, boo -doo, boo -doo, boop, boo boo Let me make sure I got chat going on here. Loin, you did a great job. I can't, uh, I can't disagree. All right, here's Drawful. Northern Line, who the fuck would believe it was called Touchy Feely? I put a hyphen in it, so I thought it would work well. All right. I love the music in this one. So you guys can go to jackbox.tv. I'll give you the name in just a moment here. And draw a picture of myself. Just give me a moment. So the way the drawful works is you only get one color and you only get to draw using your mouse and like no other tools. Why does it keep erasing myself here? I know the screen's not on by the way. It's okay. You get off there. Why does it keep erasing my egg? Just 
get a little circle. Oh my, it keeps, if the line's touched, is it a race? Is that what happens? Or do you need to like keep one consistent line going? This is actually a pretty good drawing here until I started to draw my mouth. I know the overlay's up, okay? Uh, okay, tell you what. The room code, please draw nicely. ZQTR. I'll bring it back up here. Oh my god, that filled up so quickly. All right. I'm trying to draw myself here. Step one is draw yourself. Keeps erasing parts of my drawing, though. Every time I try to draw my mouth, it's like, no, you lose. Okay, somebody got in there. I'm, I'm trying to draw my face. It won't let me. I swear to God. There you go. There's an egg. It erases it too. How do you freaking get to actually draw this? It just keeps erasing mine. Okay. Let's try this again. Little unibrow. Now get the glasses. Nope, when I tried to do the glasses, it said no. Maybe I used too much ink. Oh, jeez, I just tried to save the picture by accident. Now I'm the one that's holding us all up here. There you go. You know what? Hey! That's going to have to do. Because it was not drying proper, or not drawing properly there. So that's the best I can do there. Eyes closed. Hurry up, dog. Why is there a sexy owl? Why isn't there a sexy owl? You ever think about that? Hey, eyes closed. Eyes closed. Uh, you could uh, finish this up here. I'm going to give you like 30 seconds. And if you don't submit your drawing, I'm going to have to fight you in real life. But also, we're going to have to start a new game. Are you a professional artist, NL? <laughs> I am. I wish. At least the music's good. Oh, the mouse is on screen. Does that bother you? Does that bother you when the mouse is on screen? Look, dude. I I hate doing this. I'm gonna have to, his game is broken. Just hit submit, man. His screen is blank. I can't vote kick him. Can he just like reload the page or something? His eyes are closed so he can't. That was very Hey, there we go. That's pretty good. Let's do it. So the way I understand it is the way the drawful works. Well, they're explaining it right now, but it's too small or too uh, quiet, but they give you like a bullshit phrase to draw and then you draw it and you have to guess what it is. Oh my god, this one is really good. Rumpus room or shark. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna draw here. On your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send. Give me a sec. I'm not gonna tell you what I got because I want you to be able to guess. So get to drawing. Do a little of that, and then you got like a little one of these coming down. You can't see what's going on right now, but I assure you, it's good. No, it erased my whole drawing. Can someone in chat explain to me why Drawful erases all your shit all the time? Like seriously, it just keeps erasing my whole game here. I know some people have submitted drawings here. I'm trying. Your game is fucked. Oh, that's good. And I'll clear your cookies. That can't be it. Our time's like almost running out. Haha, ha, your phone is shit. You thought I'm, I'm on my computer, you dog. I think this is the best I can do on short notice here, unfortunately. Please don't erase everything. All right, I, I got mine in. I should be drawing it on my phone, that's true. It's because you're a casual? Haha, <laughs> your computer is shit. 
We got one person left drawing here. It is not, uh... I like that a lot. It's not, um... Eyes closed just swinging, though. Don't pick it up from the screen while drawing. Okay. I'll do my best. Whoop. 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 Wow, this is, uh... This is lovely. If NL is drawing... Two things separated by a line, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> Way to go, Green. You fucked it up. Okay. What is this? Jesus Christ. Um, it's like a... It's like a sitting penguin? I'm gonna say that... So this is just like Fibbage. We see a picture and we put in what we think it could be. I'm gonna say that this is Lazy Penguin. I'm not gonna tell you. Sorry, when I, by Lazy Penguin I meant I'm totally not gonna put in Lazy Penguin. It kind of does look like a penguin bowling pin. Alright, so I'm not gonna say my answers anymore. I just fucked up my first round. That could ruin it, man. Herx could sh like shitball me now. I don't know what that means. Shitball. Kind of does look like Squeezy. You're not wrong. Please, green. Green, help me provide entertaining products here so that we can play this game again in the future. You're just ruining it for everybody, man. Or lady. All right. This game gives too much time between rounds. I kind of agree. Hmm. So the options here. Pimento Loaf, Sitting Penguin, Lazy Penguin, Cuddly Bird, Happy Feet Penguin, High Penguin, Linux. I, I gotta go with Sitting Penguin. And I'll give some points to Happy Feet because that ain't Falco. You can't kick people, unfortunately. That's, that's one of the major problems with the game. We could restart with new people. That's not really fair to the people who got in. Lazy Penguin. That was me. Hergs, you just gave me some points. Sitting Penguin. That's a- that's Hergs's? He got more back! It was actually Linux. I did this not expect that. Dedicated to all our nerd friends. It's dedicated to all our nerd friends. Alright. Who was the dry- that was- you get a thousand points because someone guessed the correct answer, I guess. Green! What are you doing here? What? Oh my god. What is this? What can you even say about this one? <sighs> I'm... Uh, I have no idea. Hey. This seems like a Babby game for Babbies. Oh, chat! <laughs> oh, chat is ruined now! Boop, boop, ba -da, boop. Hey, boop, boop, ba -da, boop. Hey, hey again. <laughs> green. I will never forgive you, Green. Why are there like three people not participating now? Oh, green got an answer in there. Okay. Emotive D, snotlick, colonoscopy. I almost wonder. Could it be emotive D? Or could they have just given you what to draw? Oh, no, no. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say emotive. No, I'm just gonna go with the exact description of what it is. Here's Colon dash D. <laughs> tongue face. Oh, feed me more. Two thousand points for tongue face because it was the only one that made sense. You thought that was a colonoscopy. 
Hey! Lucky me. Hey, it sort of looks like a face. The points are real. That was a big one. I, I appreciate all you people that pick tongue face, by the way. That helped me out a lot. I even got a thumbs up on it. Oh, the points. Cash money. What is this? Look. That looks like... <laughs> I, it looks like a... I don't know. I'm not gonna say, because I just typed it in. This is either one of the strangest faces I've ever seen, or it's like Rush Limbaugh's body. It's very difficult for me to, to parse what this actually is in reality. Is that just a really big Audi belly button, or is that a nose? That's something you never want to hear somebody say to you in real life. Green! Green put in an answer. I'm a big fan of you, Green. You got it done. Thank you. Ryab's face. Yeah, very clever. Hmm. Googly eyes. Happy. Surf goat. Boob eyes. Cross-eyed. Soft torso. <laughs> silly balls. Dick fuck. Look. I'm gonna go googly eyes. I'm gonna give dick fuck a point because it's my own joke, so I have some uh, affinity for it. I kind of like soft torso though. That this is just like an outline of somebody's very, very kind of saggy body. What do we got? What did everybody pick? Cross-eyed. That smooth colas. That was pretty close. If it is actually uh, googly eyes. Oh no, it's not. Oh, medium cat. Free points. Surf goat. Who drew surf goat? This is not a surf goat. Who is the artist there? 69 dongers, man. I can't really read your name. Corn puff something. You got to keep up with the spirit of the game, man. That's not fair. Type in a convincing title now. Wow, I wonder what this one could be. I got to be honest, this one's mine. So I'm just going to take a little drink of water here. As you look at this drawing, I would like you to remember that uh, I was not actually uh, able to draw. It erased, like, everything as I drew it. So this is the best that I could do, given the circumstances. What do you think it is? Brain damage? Singing cloud? Apple cloud? Sound cloud? Cloud penis? That looks slightly racist. I don't think it's meant to be slightly racist. A shitting music cloud. Sound cloud. Bob's brain. Looks like Tomo. That's just offensive. Okay. So we got funky cloud, guilty, sound cloud, angry cloud, eye cloud, musical cloud, iPod, Bob's brain. Wow, you guys pretty much covered the the gamut here. Well, I'm gonna choose the ones that I uh, that I liked here. Um, I think SoundCloud is a really good one. All right, who picked what? iCloud. No, that is not correct. SoundCloud was a really good lie. Corn Puff gets the points, which pisses me off because he made Surf Goat and it sucked. Medium Cats, you're a little bit more, you're cooler in my book. Yes! Two people got Funky Cloud. It was Funky Cloud. I should actually do this on my phone instead of, uh, instead of on the PC because it doesn't draw very well. Oh, we got a tight game at the top. Me and Medium Cat. Type in your titles now. What is this? is just like an asshole dog. Boo, you suck. What? <laughs> what do you. What can you even say about this? The fuck is a funky cloud? Yeah, I know. I mean, that's the point of Drawful, I guess, is that it's just crazy. Surf Goat and the Funky Clouds is a great name for a band. You are correct. 
You think that's supposed to be dick butt? I think it's just a, yeah, I agree. I think it's a hater dog. Oh, yeah. Raygun28, thank you very much for the subscription, by the way. Almost everybody's in here. There we go. Sassy gerbil, rage pig, evil pet. These are, some of these are really good, okay? I'm gonna say that this is, uh, I'm gonna say that this is not rude ants. Let's go evil pet, and I'm gonna say sassy gerbil gets a bonus like, and so does mean dog, or rage pig. That's what I meant. Rage pig was a really good one, I like that. Rude ants. Smooth Cola, thanks for the points, buddy. Rage Pig is also a great name for a band. Ah, oh, Smooth Cola, I'm sorry, I gave the points back. Is it Sassy Gerbil? Oh my god, that is, I guess it was sassier than mean, but, or evil. Sassy Gerbil, that was really good. Who got points? Oh my Lanta, that's a lot of points. Oh, Herg's running away with it now. We can't have too many more left here. Okay, let's do this. That's just... I mean, is that like a drawing of Texas? Hey. I, I'm not gonna put that, but... Like, that's either Texas or... Like, best state or something like that, I don't know. Like, leave? Ninja Star? I'm trying to think of what it could be, because they usually give you two words. So it could be, like, best state, or, like, worst state, or, you know, garbage state, or delicious state. I don't know. I think it's got something to do with state. Misshapen Anvil. That's another pretty good one. Kind of looks like a... Like a Take this broken wing and learn to fly again. And here are your choices. Honestly, I it's got to be like two words, right? Random decoy. I I almost feel like it's random decoy. Nah. Wacky ant. I'm gonna say wacky anvil, man. I have no idea. I think it's flying anvil or wacky anvil. I don't think it's Anvil Tumor. And here Please tell me a lot of people just pick Texas. Smooth Cola. We're on the same page, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Chewy Senpai said the same thing. Wacky Anvil. God damn it. Rolled Darl. Oh, Linux was one word. You are right. Anvil Tumor. Not quite. What is it then? Just Anvil? Hmm. Worst state ever. Wow! That is just firing shots, whoever drew that one. My god. Very rude. Eyes closed. That was very rude indeed. Well, at least now we know it doesn't have to be two words. This is a close game here. Oh my god. What is this? Like a. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey! What are. Are those video cassettes or are those. It kind of looks like it's two trucks on a highway or something. Guy's got something wrong with his arms there. You all right? Your arms kind of look like they're making the bottom half of Texas. All right, everyone's taking their time with these lies. I like, uh, yeah, it could be speed camera. That's a good one. Speed trap. Race wars? I don't think it's race wars. I have no idea. Okay, here are your choices. Drag racing, that's what she said. Street race, drag race, boxcar derby, 
RV race, busy street, school bus race. Well, everyone kind of got a race out of this. I think I'm gonna go boxcar derby. But I'm gonna give like almost all of these a thumbs up. Cause they look they look too much like boxes to not be box to not meant to be box cars, you know? We'll see if I'm wrong. I seem to be a lot worse at this than Fibbage. School bus race! Corn puff. Again, thank you for the points. I'm only getting like one person each time. I think people are a lot better at suggesting in this. Busy streets. Ooh. Don't give Corn Puff more points than he deserves. Boxcar Derby. Oh, come on! I gave points to my competition! That's a really good sad trombone there. Why does the bottom one have a dick? I was kind of thinking the same thing, honestly. How many have we done now? That's it! Oh, I think I came in second. Ah, Hergs! Couldn't one more person have said school bus race? Congrats, eyes closed. Here, I'm gonna say new players. No, no, no. Can cancel. Cancel. I'm gonna say new players, we're gonna try again because I'd like to get a better drawing. There's your room code. XSMR. People want Fibbage again? Gotta draw a little tighter here. I think if you touch the boundary... No? It won't let me draw it, honestly. Like, it won't let me draw my own... My own thing. So I think I'm gonna have to go back to Fibbage, because this just doesn't draw properly. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch back to Fibbage. Sorry. Sorry to everybody who's in the game already. We'll do one more game of Fibbage, then we'll finish it off here. Lyswater allows a hundred people. How, let me see how this works. April is sometimes a few hours longer than June. You wanna try Lyswater? Let's give it a try. This could be interesting. Uh, allowing a hundred people could be fun. A little bit less personality, maybe, though. It's quite loud. I've noticed that. Salutations, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can okay, one a sec. huge number of players in a game. I hope that impresses you. People want Fibbage? Here's Lie Swatter. We can get a hundred people. We have... We, right. No, you started with 82 people, you scumbags! New players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Alright, apparently Let's people begin. can enter during the game. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know what my rank is. Seven crazy facts pulled from the Here we go. Categories. Here we go. Torture. Gotta be fast. Tom Brokaw, Tom Brokaw had his fingernails ripped off on live television. television. Truth. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. Don't know if this will work with the delay. Oh, people can't see it. It has to be like local. I understand. But you can still be right. That's a lie. I'm an idiot. A giraffe is the symbol of the American Giraffe is the symbol of the American Libertarian Party. That's a lie. Yeah, it does show up, it just takes time. Alright. Hundred players are in. Do we have more than a hundred people in the game? Oh my god, we do. We have like a hundred and... hundred and twelve? That's a lie. Okay, got some points. A local 100 person game. Alright, I'll let you guys know what rank Amsterdam I'm in. Is Amsterdam is home to the Ma Museum. Masturbation Museum. True. I think I was in 38th. When I looked there. I wanted to go fast, though. Amsterdam is home to the Masturbation Museum. I believe it. Stop saying it out loud. Why? I gotta narrate a little bit here. Oh, you see it on your phones if you join on your phone. Okay, cool. That's a lie? Shit. 
30 players correct. Dong Smasher with 75 points. The United Kingdom's dialing code for Russia. I was ranked 78th. Lyswater is garbage mate. Well, it's probably going to be the last game we're going to do regardless here. Unfortunately. Test post, please ignore. Man, you can get like a lot of people in this game. Okay. I think I said true. Steamed hams is faster. I am in. A young Humphrey Bogart was the Gerber 57th. Baby. I said this was a lie, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think it might be true. All right, you ding-dongs. I get that it's dull. We've been playing it for about a minute and 30 seconds. Just relax, everybody. Yes. Tomo Buddy with the points there. I wanted him, though. The biggest, biggest newspaper, newspaper uh, are you going to say true, even though I think that it's totally false. Uh, I, uh, I'm i in 24th place right now. One more fibbage? All right, I'll do one more fibbage after this. One more fibbage after this. I want to win this one, though. The biggest newspaper in Singapore can't publish pet obituaries. Oh, thank God. 107 players correct. Here we go. Chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. Only four acceptable I'm going to say truth. I'm 19th place. I don't think I'm getting to 100, but still. Or I don't think I'm getting to first, I should say. But still. You only know who Humphrey Bogart is because of Scooby-Doo? That's pretty wild. You should watch some of the some of the Humphrey Bogart films. I've never seen them, but the people are always telling me I should watch them. True. Okay. 92 players correct. <sighs> and here's where everyone stands where did I finish? I came in seventh. That's pretty good. Roll Dar just Roll Dar will just shit on everybody. I'm happy with the seventh place finish. Oh, it's not over yet. Okay, round two. We'll do one more fibbage after this. I promise. Okay, I can come back from this. Soda pop. Get a few soda pops. Seven Up's, seven up's name, name is a reference to so Deadly to Sins. It's gotta sins. be a lie. There's gotta be like seven ingredients or something like that. False, I've gotten five shapes for sure. Well, you gotta let McDonald's Corporation know that, man. It's gotta be false. Thank God, okay. Hi, Chad's doing too well here. Instagram photo of Picasso sold for $300,000. I gotta believe this is a lie. I'm in sixth, though. I don't believe, even if it's you know, head up ass crazy that this could happen. I don't believe that this could be true. Yes! Okay. Hot air. In Florida, it's illegal to release 10 or more balloons. I, I have balloons. I gotta agree this is true. I'm in fifth place. I'm making my way in the world today. Takes everything we got. Fifth place out of 150 is pretty good. Cauldron Born. Thank you very much for the subscription. By the way, I'll admit I basically chose true because it's been false two times in a row. I gotta start playing the players. Yes! Here we go. Man, people are getting like a lot of correct answers here. Hemingway's, Hemingway's mother dressed him up as a girl and called him Ernestine. Oh, I chose true. I was in third, by the way. I, it's, it's an artist, right? It, this happens to artists. Man, there's over 150 people in here. True, true, true. Oh! Toasty Nips, good job. Okay, okay. Doing well. Albert Einstein, Einstein melted his Nobel Peace Prize. Prize. Lie, it's gotta be a lie. No, not a Nobel Peace Prize, just Nobel Prize. I've got to imagine that you, there's like a laboratory source of gold that you can get. I was in third, by the way. I, I say he was an artist, not like he was a painter. I mean, he was an artist, like he created creative works. I said false. Yes! Yes! 
Okay, Braille. JFK, JFK printed his speeches in Braille so we never had to look down. That's gotta be a lie. Still third. Still third place. I, I, I don't believe... I know the Kennedy family had some issues. I don't believe that JFK had a reason to know Braille. Not that you need a reason to know Braille. I gotta go with false on this one. Wouldn't that look weird? He's just kind of like scratching his paper the whole time. Here we go. Gotta be, gotta be false. Yes! Keep it up. One more. Almost perfect here. US, Congress US congressmen eat free on Wednesdays in KFC. KFC. I'm gonna go true. I'm in second place right now. I'm gonna go true. I'm gonna say that KFC is Congressman Wednesday. Now that I think about this, this is ridiculous. If it's true, I'm gonna feel very thankful, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna guess that this is probably this is probably a lie and I made a mistake. Ah, oh, I could have easily gotten that one. Here are your scores. I fell down to I got them all right but one and fell down to fourth. That is ridiculous. Okay, well, round three. Round final round. The facts will be about one category. That category is category baseball injuries. Baseball injuries. Which of these facts about baseball injuries Here are we go. true? And true and false. Lies. Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson injured, injured himself playing mini golf. Mini I'm gonna golf. say true. Fifth place. This is a big one. I'm gonna lose all hope if I get this wrong. Whew. Whew. Yeah, Roald Darl's kicking ass. Bo Jackson injured himself playing mini golf. Gotta be true. Gotta be true. No, I fell from second to. I, I could see that I was in second before. Oh, shit. Northern Lion. It's the perfect name. Cal Ripken Jr. injured himself. I gotta, you, star you gotta keep doubling train. down on true. I'm going true on this one. I'm, uh, I'm fifth right now. Johnny Knoxville got a baseball shoved up his pee hole. True story. Come on, this has gotta be true. Cal Ripken Jr. seems like the guy who puts the star on top of the Christmas tree. No! Oh no! Sammy Sosa injured himself I'm seventh now. I gotta say true on this one because you, eventually it's not gonna be. It, they can't all be false. I mean, they're they're athletes. They're not oh, supermen. Yeah. Ramsa Makin, thank you very much for the subscription. Ramaza Makin. Don't not this one. Not this one. Okay, good. Ninety-one players correct. Reclusive C is first. Derek, Derek Jeter, Jeter injured himself. himself. It's got to be a lie. I answered true, by the way. Got it correct and fell one position from 7th to 8th there. So I'm pretty sure that the person who got it first got ahead of me, which is crazy. Come on. Come on. Come on. False. Yes. Toasty nips. So fast. Joel Zamaya injured himself. Ah, it's true. I know hero. this one. This one's true. Injured himself playing Guitar Hero. I got I, If I could finish top three, I would be awesome. You were fourth mate, not eighth. You guys are being very silly. On my screen, I have like a little window on the side that shows me what position I'm currently in. So don't be telling me what position I'm in. I can see it here in real time. Okay. Here we go. Last one, I think. Ken Griffey Jr. injured himself while adjusting. I said false. Cup. I said false. I'm in fifth right now. I don't know though. I think this might be true. He could give himself like testicular torsion or something like that. I think it's. I, th I hope it's false. Oh no! Griffey, what are you doing, man? He had the balls to admit it. How clever. Okay, last one. Pete Rose injured himself while pretending to play the harp. I that would be a great way to get an injury, pretending to play the harp. I got to go false here. Okay, at least keep me in the top 10. Top 10 out of like 160 is okay. Yes. Okay. Frisky potato. I think I came top 10 at least. 
We'll never know. Whoa, Kitten Cakes just beat up on Roll Darl. Congrats. Let's see the final scores. I, I tied for 10th. I can live with that. It was pretty close to falling out. Man, well done. Uh, well done, everyone who won that one. I'm going to go back to the pack here. That game's all right. It's nice to play with a lot of people. All right, we're going to open up one last Fibbage game here because I promised that we would, even though we're a little late. And we're going to be finishing a little late. That's okay. In this meantime period, while I'm getting into the game, allow me to say, um, hey, Kate's going to be streaming over at twitch.tv slash lovelymomo at 9 p.m. PST. I believe we're going to be playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth co-op runs on hard mode to fill out our post-it notes. Wink, wink. Twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. Follow her. In two hours and 50 minutes, we'll be live. There you go. There's your ad. In lieu of other ads. And there's your, uh, there's your room code. S-U-I-R. S-U- I R. You guys are pretty good at lie slaughter. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Everybody's in. These people were very nice. They didn't click everybody's in until we actually got started there. So I haven't won a single game all hour here. I'm hoping that I can win one here. Something something S. Okay. Herg's made it back What's in again. Steger? Is this the Steger? Developer of Mount Your Friends? Well, he made a good game, so he must be terrible at Fibbage. There's some rule there, for sure. Some relationship. Choose a word, Pearnet. Lung, Economist, Sergeant, Prison, Prison. I should have known. A man from Enniskillen, Northern Ireland, was sentenced to three months in prison for a fire he started while trying to turn blank into gold. Mm. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. Sentence. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Sentence to three months in prison for a fire he started while trying to turn blank into gold. This is just ridiculous. At first I was gonna say lead, but then I was like, where, where is the prisoner getting lead, you know? So I don't think it's gonna be... What are you gonna do with a bunch of gold in prison anyway? Do they adhere to the gold standard in the prison economy? Northern Ireland, Northern Loin, Northern Lion. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. Wood, applesauce, corn, trash, lead, spoons, his poop, Garbage or gasoline? Honestly, I'm gonna guess that he tried to turn applesauce into gold. It could be trash, could be garbage, it could be corn. I hope it's not gasoline. Could be, uh. Could be spoons? I mean, at least you could imagine that he could actually get that contraband. Okay, what did everyone pick? Gasoline. Pear net. That's Steger's lie. Where's he gonna get gas in prison, Steger? Lead. Herg's giving points to Foxworth. Oh, he wasn't in prison. Why did I think he was in prison? Oh, no, he was sentenced to prison. Oh, Jesus. Well, I made a terrible mistake. I was gonna say it would be hilarious if I got it right, but did anyone? Say, nobody said spoons, huh? P say spoons, maybe. Well, don't you feel fool? Nobody said his poop, and it was his poop. Wow. Yeah, nobody has ever arrested Rob Schneider. Hey yo. Oh. And the rest Snap of the with the Schneider quips. Snap. I did terribly there. I, I thought he was in prison the whole time. I thought he was in prison and got like extra sentencing for being in prison and doing right, this. That was very category. stupid of me. I gotta read the question a little bit better. He's trying to turn his own shit into gold? What are you talking about? Is this you think this is an Isaac run? Here's the question. New Mexico State Senator Duncan Scott successfully got a bill passed in the New Mexico Senate requiring psychiatrists testifying in court to wear a blank. Christ. Enter your lies now. Psychiatrist testifying in court to wear a... I don't have a good answer. I have no idea what this could possibly be. I'm not going to look at chat. Um... 
I'm very confused. A strap-on! That would be great! Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Why? Why, Duncan Scott, do they need to wear a strap-on? I just thought it would look cool. Thought it would lend him a little bit of credibility. I'm not looking at chat. Right, a Hulk yeah. hand! A fez? A Doppler? Colorful beret? Wizard's hat? Stethoscope? Bib? Bonnet? Or cardigan? It just seems like a cardigan has like an air of credibility for a psychiatrist, right? I love the idea of a Hulk hand. Uh, I love the idea of a, a bonnet, colorful beret. A stethoscope is like just silly enough to make sense. He's like, they're a doctor. I love Hulk hand here though. Well, a lab coat would have been good too. Okay, I don't think I did very well here. Cardigan, aw oh, shit. God damn it, not Steger. Okay, I can give points to anybody but Steger. Stethoscope. Oh! Oh, feed me more. I'm back in the game. And it was also. Oh, what? Two people said the same thing. Pairnet, you and I, we're on the same page, man. We both said stethoscope. I did not expect that. Steger. Fez, come on, man. Wizard's hat? That can't be right. Why? The bill did not make it past the New Mexico House, however. They declared that a courtroom is no place for funny outfits unless you're the judge. A and wizard's means... head? I find that hard to believe. Alright, at least I'm back in the game here. Pearnet, man. I'm amazed. Strip, middle school, Schwartz, Lucky, or Orbit? It's got to be middle school. Okay, here's the question. A Rhode Island this is a middle long school one. discovered that some students were crushing Smarties candy and then snorting the dust. So they sent an email to parents warning that a side effect of this activity could be blank in their kids' noses. Type in your lies now. I don't like this. Kids were snorting candy. They were, parents got an email that warned that a side effect could be blanks in their kids' noses. I have to think that they would probably send them like a cautionary tale type thing. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't it's think gross. Of this is a long one though. It's a tricky one. You think if they said you get blood clots in your nose, they'd actually stop? I don't think so, Chad. They were smoking the dust too. Okay, Come on. Okay, tumors, truth. maggots, white powder, ants, enhanced abilities, sugar, the devil, and blood. I know what I'm going with here. Uh, yeah. This is pretty gross. You know in Canada, Smarties are different than they are in the US? We have, Smarties are kind of like an M&M candy coated chocolate up here, and we call what you call Smarties in America, rockets. And I think you have a different kind of rocket candy down there as well. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I said ants. Look, if you told kids that snorting candy would give them tumors, they would still do it, probably. Yes! Oh, the points are real. Pearnet, I have eaten your heart and gained your courage. What?! Stop taking my answers, you scumbags! That was weird. White powder. That seems obvious. Maggots. Alright, that's gotta be correct then. Yeah. I'll take my points. I think I've clawed my way back up to the top, maybe. How many points is that? Oh, yeah, okay. Paranet, unfortunately, with zero points there, allows me to slip into the lead. Ooh, close game though, much closer than the last one. This is round two, which means all point values are It's all about double. convincing lies in Fibbage. It's all about convincing all right, lies. Recall, point. rehab, squirrel, orgy, and grumpy. Come on, grumpy. I want some Walter Matthau questions. Rehab. Okay, here's the question. Country singer Trace Atkins went into rehab after fighting a blank while on a Jamaican cruise. Enter your lies now. Country singer Trace Adkins went into rehab after fighting a blank while on a Jamaican cruise. Wow, I thought for sure I had the truth there. I'm not gonna say what I put in. 
I think it's a pretty convincing lie, though. What did Trace Adkins sing? After fighting a cocaine. I'm still I'm not looking at chat. That was the last one. I'll entertain myself by, by talking amongst myself. There's so many potentially good answers here. Okay, Tomo's twitching like crazy. You having a good dream, buddy? Chicken! Statue! Trey Zadkins impersonator! Impersonator! Tour guide! Dolphin! Seagull! Rastafarian! Koala bear! Honestly... I think I'm gonna go with tour guide. But I was thinking dolphin. And I was also thinking statue. He, I don't think he could have gotten drunk enough to fight a statue. I believe that he could get drunk enough to fight a dolphin. Ah, I went with statue. Okay, let's take a look. Seagull. That's conceivable. Ah, oh, shit, it's wrong. All right, me and Steger, great minds think alike. You're welcome, Hambone. Impersonator. Hergs get some points. Tour guide. Pairnet. Thanks for the points, buddy. That ain't Falco. Really? There was a Trace Atkins impersonator just randomly in Jamaica? This interview went like this. What did the assailant look like? Me! Exactly like me! That's and kind of ridiculous. Up there. I think I still... I, I kept myself pretty close. But, oh no, Herg's got mad points there. That's crazy. I can't believe not more people picked Tour Guide, though. All right, so I get to choose. Category. Squirrels, loneliness, Lucy, cathedral, or parking. Let's go squirrels. Okay, here's the question. The city of Olney, Illinois, organizes an annual event in order to blank squirrels. An annual event in order to blank squirrels. I don't know. There's a lot of possible... Oh, I entered the truth! Oh, shit. Hmm. All right. Sweet, guys. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I can look at chat now. Suck on that shit. Free points for me. It is not fuck squirrels. Could be party with, Kate. Okay, which one's the truth? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you which one the truth is, but I got it. I'm not even going to comment on any of the answers. That's okay. The points are coming fast and furious. Work with me here, game. Good lies, good lies. Give me more points, give me more points. I want it. Who goes on a guided tour of a cruise ship? You're right, I gotta read the questions more closely. See what everybody selected. Honor. Oh, Foxworth and Maggie. You're too good to me. That's 2,000 right there. Cook. Steger, come on, man. That's just rude. Dress. I would love to know the intricacies of this. It is a lie, though. Race. Well, I don't know why Pearnet always has to bring race into it. It is indeed counts. Three people? I don't like that. It's important to count those who cannot count themselves. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Celebrate. Too bad. I said honor. Apparently that tickled more fancies. It's a real close match, though. NL didn't spell honor like a true Canadian. That's because I knew that if I did that, it would be a tell. So I spelled it the American right, way. Lucky lung, point. eggs, Halloween, des desert. Okay, here's the question. It's time for a road trip. Went on a spring break trip to Dongyang, China. Be sure to try their eggs cooked in blank. Oh my god. Enter your lies now. Be sure to try their eggs cooked in... I have no idea. Good choice by picking eggs, yeah. Dong Yang. Can't say I've ever been. Honestly, I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm not looking at chat. Not looking at chat. 
Get it? Because it's your dong. Okay, your Human choices. fat, dong yang china, beer, chicken stomachs, young boy urine, carved skulls, other more powerful eggs, pig blood urine. I've got it. Young boy urine is way, way too specific. I'm thinking it's pig blood, urine, or chicken stomachs. Or carved skulls. I'm gonna go with urine, though. All right, let's see what It can't picks. be young boy urine. Okay, chicken stomachs. Based hergs. Gets a few points. Urine. Oh, no. Not hergs. Okay, Steger. That's all right. He's in, like, last place anyway. Oh, okay. P Waterfall is closing in on us. I'm a little scared about that. Great minds think alike. Maggie, thank you for the consolation prize. It was not pig blood. No way. It was young boy urine. Not just well, urine. The option. urine of Try young boys. Cooked in gluten-free young boy urine. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Oh my god. Dong Yang was my nickname in high school. At least I'm not too far out of it. One good lie could pull me back into this. But also, you know, one bad lie could have me uh, moving down to third or fourth. It's the final round. It's time for the final Young Boy Urine is a great it's band name. You're not wrong. And it's worth triple. Good luck. <laughs> Young Boy Urine. Here's your final Fibbage question. Brand name of the patented synthetic testicles for pets. Would you believe me if I knew this at some point? I think I did. Synthetic testicles for pets. Shit. Oh no. I don't know about this one. Hurry! Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. I think I tried. I think I. I think I might have fucked it up, real bad. I did know this at some point. Why did I know this? Probably from some stupid trivia game like this one. Okay, here you go. Memories. My little testies. Pet sets. I like that. Blue balls. Dongles. Fido's new balls. Okay, it would not be beast balls. That's just rude. Nudicles. I think it was nudicles. Besties is okay. okay. Let's take a look. Pet sets. Really? I got two people. Beast balls. Oh, come on! You said beast? Yeah. Jeez. You don't deserve the points for that. Oh, wow. Alright. I think I I think I guaranteed lost then because nobody took besties. To just not cut your dog's testicles off. I think that means done. fucking Herg's one. God damn it. I'm so mad. Beast ballers. Oh! I was so close! If only I'd read that one about him not being in jail at first. Dang it. Well, in any case, that's gonna do it for today's uh, stream. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I really like playing Fibbage. I don't mind solo streams from time to time. A big thank you to everyone who watched, and a big thank you specifically to everyone who subscribed as well. A Frisky Potato, Enlisted 8, Wireman C3, Silinoi, Noble 87, SOD Casey, Ishwa Ultimato, The Cath B Drill, Smokestack, Imptorp, Tell Me About Your Cat, Viva Ramon, sorry, a little percolation in the belly there, True Heels, Lassimus, Disludo, The Factory Defaults, The Crystal Knight, Holland, Michigan Tourism Board, Lick Me Please 6969, Ninju 00, Captain Douglas J. Falcon, and Raygun28, we went a little bit long today as well. Uh, big thanks to Ather Games for sending me those seeds as well. Check him out on YouTube if you want to see some uh, some uh, hot action. Not specifically to GeoGuessr, just some hot action in general. Uh, Kate is going to be streaming. You should follow twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. Me and her are going to be playing some Binding of Isaac Rebirth co-op hard mode runs in two and a half hours. In the meantime, allow me to check out uh, who's live right now. I don't like to ask people because then they suggest it, and if I don't take the suggestions, then it's like, ooh, you know? What an asshole. I don't mean to be an asshole. Uh, is Bear live right now, or is Alpaca live right now? Isn't it? 
Who do I normally raid Bear at this point, right? No, his his title still says the no NLSS. So I'm going to raid uh, Cobalt... No, I'm going to raid Dan Giesling, who is currently playing Madden NFL 15. But he's a nice guy. Don't hold that against him. We'll be back. Uh, well, I'll be back in just a little bit on uh, Kate stream in two and a half hours. But uh, well, I'll be back on Sunday for the subscriber stream as well. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you then.